combustion of fossil fuels to transport people and goods is the second largest source of carbon dioxide emissions in the United States. 31% of all carbon dioxide emissions come from transportation. The oil and gasoline used to fuel these vehicles come from various refineries throughout the world. These refineries emit a wide variety of pollutants and contribute to rising sea levels and an increasing global temperature. A flight from San Francisco to Los Angeles produces 614 tons of carbon dioxide per person. When a molecule of carbon dioxide absorbs heat energy, it goes into an excited but unstable state. It can become stable again by releasing the energy it absorbed. The energy that stays on Earth creates a blanket that traps heat in and contributes to the heating of the Earth. When water heats up, the molecules begin to move faster, spread out, and the water expands. This is called thermal expansion and is the reason why the ocean levels continue to rise. Thermal expansion and rapidly melting ice caps will raise the ocean level worldwide by 3 feet in the year 2100 or earlier. This loss of ice and rising sea level will wreak havoc on many plant and animal species. Why are greenhouse gases an issue? Why should we even worry about global climate change? The climate that you have gotten used to is going to change, no matter where you live in the world. Formerly wet climates will become dry ones and this will damage all of the species living on Earth. Human input has overloaded the carbon cycle and impacted the global climate. Carbon naturally cycles among the atmosphere, oceans, soil, plants, and animals, but after the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide am accounted for 84% of all the US greenhouse gas emissions. It may seem like the world is heading to the point of no return. However, there are things that we can do to help lower our carbon dioxide emissions and help slow global climate change. If you drive a car to work, start a carpool instead. Carpooling for one day will save 26 pounds of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere. If you carpool to work, try taking the bus. Traveling by bus reduces your carbon dioxide emissions by one half that of driving the same distance. Buses last longer, thus aren't produced as much as cars, so their overall carbon dioxide emission is lower. If you take the bus to work, try riding your bike to the local ferry or train system. Riding a bike produces 10 times less carbon dioxide than using a car. Biking still produces some carbon dioxide because humans naturally release it when we breathe. If you already bike, try walking instead. Walking instead of driving to work every day can reduce your carbon dioxide emissions by 660 pounds per year. Bring change to the company that you work for. Instead of constantly flying around the world for meetings, request to do video conferences. By doing so, you will save your company money as well as lower your carbon footprint. Invest in the future. Electric vehicles are much more cost efficient as well as environmentally sustainable and are starting to lead the car industry. So be the change!